Alright, well, that's a tune into the 20th installment of Galsworthy's Christmas Countdown. So here we go again. It's time to bring you more Christmas data. We're virtually there now. We're virtually at the big day itself. So this is pretty much the final Christmas update, actually. There will be a weekend broadcast as always on Christmas Eve, but in terms of the Christmas countdown, um, we've pretty much reached the end. So for the final time, other than the weekend broadcast on Christmas Eve, I'm going to go through day by day from the 23rd from tomorrow, right the way through to uh, New Year's Day, and uh, we'll go through the full Christmas period for uh, one last time. Now, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this video, or if you enjoyed the Christmas countdown, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody. We're doing that. And thank you so to Richard for our amazing Christmas update skip. It's been it's been fantastic. Thank you so much, Rich. Thank you thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Been beautiful. One of the best. Okay, let's move over to Vetter then. And um we're gonna begin tomorrow. So we started all of this back at the beginning of November when we was uh, starting the updates in early December. Um, gradually we've narrowed it down, narrowed it down, narrowed it down more and more and more. And so now we're starting tomorrow. Can you believe that? So this is how we're looking for tomorrow, Saturday 23rd of December. High pressure from the Azores into France, Spain, Portugal. Low pressure in the North Atlantic bringing in this mild west-southwest wind. Upright states looking mild or very mild across most parts of the country tomorrow. Outbreaks of rain across Scotland. And that could start off as snow. <coughs> Excuse me, through central and northern parts of Scotland, but will turn back to rain through the day. Mostly dry for England and Wales. Again, a few bright spells, but also a lot of cloud coming in with those west southwest winds. Uh, what will be a very mild day. Temperatures again widely between around 8 and 12 or 13 degrees. That takes us through to Christmas Eve. Very mild Christmas Eve uh, to come. So again, we've got high pressure here to the south, around France, Spain, Portugal. Low pressure north of Scotland that we continue to bring in. Those very mild westerly, southwesterly winds. Upper air temperature look really mild, especially so for England and Wales. It's starting to drop back a little bit across Scotland. Uh, that band of rain comes southwards and starts to become lighter and patchier as it does so through northern England and north Wales. Much of uh, the Midland, Central, and South East England after damp morning, probably mostly dry. The main thing about Christmas Eve is that it will be an exceptionally mild day. Temperatures widely 10, 11, 12 degrees, and some places across eastern England could up to 13 or 14. 14 is 57 in Fahrenheit. It's more like an April afternoon than Christmas Eve afternoon, 24th of December. I've just seen the temperature edging back a little bit into Scotland. There, the temperature begin to drop back down into uh, single digits. And then we're on into Christmas Day. So this is how we're looking for Christmas Day 2023. Not going to be a white Christmas except maybe for the highest ground of central Northern Scotland. So most parts of England and Wales still in that mild sector, still in that push of west south west winds. We are dropping this low in across Scotland with some cooler air coming in there. So we begin to turn a bit colder in extreme north of Scotland, but still very mild across much of England and Wales. Wet for England and Wales as well, especially through northern England, Wales, the Midlands and eastern parts of England. After a dry morning, I think it turns wetter through the afternoon and on into the evening. Meanwhile, Scotland and Northern Ireland see a mix of bright spells, but also showers may converge into longer spells rain. And as I said, there could be some hill snow mixed in over the highest ground of central Northern Scotland. Temperature becoming colder across central Northern Scotland, just 2-3 degrees up there. Compare the samples into southern Scotland, where it's a cooler day, but not cold, really. Temperatures around 7 or 8. 7 or 8 for Northern Ireland, 7 or 8 for Northern England. I mean, still very mild when pushed down into central southern parts of uh, England and Wales. There we see temperatures again widely between 12 and 13 degrees. Not quite as mild as Christmas Eve, but nevertheless, it will be a very mild Christmas day for England and Wales. That low gets out of the way for Boxing Day, so on Christmas night, that low Will move away, taking its rain with it. Then you get a little transient ridge building across the country within cooler air. So becoming a bit colder across Scotland with minus five Celsius per there. And generally cooling down across most parts of the country. A mainly dry boxing day, so not too bad at all uh, for walking off all your Christmas excesses. Um, few winter showers maybe for northern Scotland. Some rain approaching the far southwest by the end of the day. But otherwise it's a dry day. Plenty of sunny spells. It is a cooler or colder day. So in the north, temperatures there between around 2 and 5 degrees. In the south, 
ranging from around uh, uh, around six to seven or eight. So a cooler, fresher feel on Boxing Day. Low pressure back in as we go through to uh, Wednesday. So heading to a no man's land between Christmas and the New Year. So the upper air temperatures lift up with this area of low pressure down in the south. We also start bringing in a lot of wind and rain from off the Atlantic as well. So turning wet and windy there for uh, the 27th of December. Temperatures mild in the south and southeast up to 10, 11 or 12 degrees. Uh, generally nearer to average show through Wales, Midlands, Northern England, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Actually quite cold up across Scotland. Uh, uh, that low six through by Thursday, 28 can be fine. So going into a flat westerling flow. So upper air temperatures about average for the time of year. Sunshine and showers after persistent rain moves away. And uh, maybe some longer spells of rain coming back into western Scotland and also Northern Ireland. Temperatures near normal on uh, Thursday, 28, ranging from around 4 to 7 or 8 degrees. Still looking very unsettling to Friday the 29th as well. Deep low pressure to the north of Scotland. So the upper air temperatures continue to look about average in the south, but a little bit colder perhaps up in the north. Further outbreaks of rain across England and Wales. Brighter skies and showers for Scotland and Ireland. And some of those could start to turn rather wintry. Temperatures in the south up to 6, 7, 8 or 9 degrees. But further north, it is uh, a cooler or a colder fear with temperatures around 2, 3 or 4. Moving through to the eve of New Year's Eve, Saturday 30th of December. Low pressure then starts transferring eastwards. Winds begin to turn into a cooler uh, northwesterly. So uh, that starts to bring minus 5 cells Iceman back into northern parts of Scotland. Showers in the northwest, mostly dry in eastern regions and it's a colder day as well. Temperatures range from around 2 to uh, 6 degrees. Moving through to New Year's Eve, we find ourselves going back under the transient ridge there ahead of the next area of low pressure. Upper air temperature becoming colder, particularly up in the north. A mostly dry New Year's Eve with plenty of that sunshine to come. But it's a cold day. Temperatures only around 2, 3, 4 or 5 degrees. Probably a frost early and late. And then low pressure starts moving in for New Year's Day. Miss Low is coming in on a northwest south east trajectory. So that's a little bit interesting for New Year's Day as it's bumping into that cold air, especially into uh, northern parts of the country. And we're restricting the mild sector um, with that. So outbreaks of rain spreading across the country on New Year's Day, possibly with some sleet and snow mixed in. And that would be most likely in more northern regions, I would have thought. Southern Scotland, north east England, but obviously it's a very long way out in the position for that could change. Temperature in the south, well, around 6 or 7 degrees, but only 3 or 4 through Wales and the Midlands. When we get into northern England and uh, Scotland, temperatures there are really struggling, only 1, 2, 3 degrees at best, suggesting that some of that precipitation could be snow there on New Year's Day. So that would be a memorable start to 2024, of course. If it came off... But the question is, will it? It's over a week away, so it's a long way out. Right, that's your final Christmas instalment. That's your final episode of Christmas Countdown. We got to update number 20. A few short of normal, because normally you get to around 24 or 25, but we had to have a bit of a gap when we have that cold snap at the end of November and the beginning of December. We, uh, Christmas Day, so it took a bit of a back burner then um, while we had to do snow watches and things. But nevertheless, we've done 20 days of Christmas, so... I don't think that's too bad going. I hope you enjoyed this year's Christmas countdown. I know we're not getting with Christmas, but most of you uh, wanted and hoped for. But uh, it is what it is. We're just going to have to make the best of it. And uh, I'm sure we'll all have a fantastic day anyway. But there will be further updates to come, of course, at Gazworth. That gas well is between now and uh, Christmas Eve. So do please keep checking back to the channel for more. Thank you so much for our amazing Christmas uh, updates gift. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Richard, uh, for that. And Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Okay, so for the 20th Christmas update, 20th installment of Christmas Countdown. That's all for now. And thanks so much.